Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the 27th episode of The Wall Street View Show. Now, this week, I am not going to talk about news stories, because... Well, the news stories I got this week are all basically like last week's E3, which was absolutely mind-blowing. And my opinion on E3 last week was absolutely incredible, from all its announcements to its surprises and all that. Today, we're going to be talking about one topic, and that is the Xbox One 360 compatibility. I'm excited to talk to you guys about this, so without further ado, let's do this, shall we? Could be. We had a so the background with um, the 360 compatibility was um, they announced it at E3, and my mind was like, oh my god, they actually did something really cool this year. And technically, preview members like me, we get to play 360 games at right now, but only, but only like first party games. So what you're seeing on the screen right now is Mass Effect, which is... If you People say it's actually Vincent really good, and I haven't played me, I much of it. I played number one for about 20 now minutes, to just to, you know, see what it's like, and I thought it was alright, but not my type of game. Mass Effect 2, play a little bit again, and Mass Effect 3, only play a little bit. But what I'm actually going to be doing now, and I'm com I am determined to finish all three Mass Effect games from start to finish. To admit, I'm a little but, nervous. back to the back, back with compatibility. Um, if you're preview members right now, you get to pick, uh, you got games on your library, and games on your discs, for example. All you have to do with discs games, put it in your disc, get an update, and you're done, and you're sorted. Mass Effect takes about 7.6 gigabytes to do, which is not bad, but still quite, you know, hectic for your gigabyte storage. If you only got, like, 7 gigs left, then you're gonna do have some problems. But for me, I can just, like, revamp that and all that. Now, with the backwards compatibility, there is always some problems, and right now I can see a problem with the backwards compatibility, and you can see there's there's a little bit of a smoke, a bit of a small bit gone. The Xbox they One cover. games they show they show everything. It shows up, it shows the entire screen about that problem. This one here shows a little bit off, but you get to see the gameplay as we speak. <coughs> also, that the frame rate that some games are have some problems. Perfect Dark, an incredible game. I love that game. It's actually really good. If you, if you haven't played Perfect Dark, I recommend that game just because. It is the best game of the Nintendo 64, which is Transformers 60, and I was playing on Xbox One. It was incredible. However, they showed in the perfect in, in the Perfect Dark game. They also got Perfect Dark Zero, which I have right here. Doesn't want to work. I put it in. It is it is the best buy game, and it says here, please put a game in which has an Xbox One game. And I am so curious because I wanted to see how Perfect Dark is like. But I'm gonna have to wait and see until um, the actual rollout for everyone when it comes out because right now you can see that you only got like 15 games, I think it is, for the preview members, which is only first party stuff. Which I'm gonna read down every name of what games are coming out. So, excuse me for a second. Uh, da -da. So, the games you can play, the preview, mem preview members you can play right now is Banjo Kazooie, Nuts and Bolts, Banjo Kazooie, Banjo Tooie, Battle Blocks Theater, Defense Squid. Geometry Wars Evolve, which I really want to give that game a try. Defense Grid, oh wait, no, not Geometry Wars, Hector HD, Jetpack Refuel, Cameo, Mass Effect, which is I'm playing right now, Perfect Dark, Perfect Dark Zero, don't know why, Full Arms, Super Meat Boy, Cold Soldier, Cold Soldier Cold War, Fifa Pinata, and Fifa Pinata Trouble in Paradise, which I've also got, which I want to install, but I have that time. But, the cool thing I like about this is, you know, very, very soon they're going to have 100 games for this, so you don't have to have, like, you know, the first party stuff like Mass Effect. They're going to have more stuff with it. I'm not entirely sure what games are going to be available to update and play on straight away. As well as that, the controller, you, know, you can use your Xbox One controller to play any game you want to play, which is incredible. Um, some games are very bright gigabytes of storage. For example, Mass Effect takes Don't 7 me, gigabytes to install, which is ridiculous. Ma uh, Fia Pinata takes Where's about 5 gigs. Perfect Dark takes about 5 gigs, which is alright. But, He's lying. my favourite thing about one of the things I, one of those I love about the 360, about the, you know, backwards compatibility is a lot of things. You can take screenshots, you can take gameplay versions like you've seen right now. You can live stream this game, you can live stream it, and you can play. Oh, Nobody guess what? Today, so you guys are playing. I'm live streaming Ever. Mass Effect for you guys on Xbox One, and I'm saying, identity. and people say, you can't do that. Well, technically, that. I can because I got a preview, I preview pass. I, but when I she love, shows up, I love the back compatibility at times, but 
we don't, we need to wait and see what other games are going to be backwards compatibility. And I want to see Gears of War and see COD. Give me the location. No, you know, things like yeah. Connect or Guitar Heroes yeah, or anything, those guitar drums and all that. The they're not going to see those. But I like to, to right see, now. you know, We're most of the Halos. I want to see, uh, basically, no good fighting games and some more Don't worry, technically good games like strategy games like XCOM. Any games that I have, I want to play on my Xbox One. Just the reason why. And that is the backwards compatibility in a nutshell. Yeah. That's it for the backwards compatibility, but don't forget, it is comment question of the week. This week, we've got the same person from last week, which is I play too much Xbox, which is quite cool because don't forget, he gets a shout out every week at least. Guys, if you want to put a comment question button below for every week, just do that and I'll, I'll mention you. This week, he says to me, I get up again. Oh, come on. I got my ass kicked on the beta. I never really played the Gears games online, but now I'm going to start my preparation for the Gears remaster. Same here. I'm decent at the online. The Gears beta, I was kind of like a bit shit because, you know, it's basically the first game, and the first game was like on the 360 was re not revamped, not like not really good, but now they've revamped it and it looks really incredible. I'm excited to see what Gears of War 1 is going to see with new, no, five new extra chapters and better thing with the online so i'm excited for that finally i like to bring a new thing in this called deals of the week where i basically i talk about the greatest deals on xbox live at this moment this week i am so surprised because we've got 50 percent off on selected stuff for example a false you know digital deluxe edition is half price from 70 quid to think about 35 pounds the cruise season pass is 10 quid you're supposed to be 20 but the my favorite my favourite deal which I have so far is one of the games I actually played and reviewed, and that is Blue Estate. I said in the review I enjoyed this game because it's an on rail shooter, and if you guys like your on rail shooters, it is one of the games I recommend. That game was £10, this game is £5, 50% off. I recommend Blue Estate for anyone who is a massive, massive on rail shooter fan. Get that game, it is so incredible. I played that game continuously and I still play it to the stage trying to get these achievements. They are such a pain in the ass, but they're so good. And those are my deals of the week. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, subscribe and all that. I'm on Twitter at Audrey Fuse, Instagram at Audrey Fuse, Xbox Live at Audrey Fuse, and Twitch at Audrey Underscore Reviews. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully I'll see you guys next time.